Number 1. Orville the Drone Cat Now we're not talking about a plush toy, we're talking about a dead domestic cat that someone taxidermied specifically to be strapped to a drone and to be flown around. Orville the cat died after being struck by a car in 2012 and his owner Bart Jansen had named the cat in honor of one of the Wright brothers. When Orville passed away, Jansen decided it would be a shame to simply bury him and he decided to have Orville stuffed and mounted to a drone so that the spirit of his beloved pet could be taken to the skies. The Orville copter as Jansen now refers to his former pet attracted international attention. Since 2012, Jansen has taken on other bigger projects and has created many other animal drones, including an ostrich drone in 2013, and he's now even trying to construct a cow drone. Number 2. Pokemon Go Cheater Drone The craze over Pokemon Go after its release in July 2016 came with an unexpected side effect for its players. Those who were unaccustomed to exercise were suddenly walking all over town for hours at a time to track down Pokemon. One player however decided that he was not going to stand for this. He strapped an Android phone to a DJI Phantom drone and mirrored the screen of the phone onto his computer. The result was that he could still sit while the drone flew around finding and catching all the Pokemon within range. In addition, Dutch company TRND Labs is now selling the Pokedrone, a handheld controller that your phone snaps into so that you can navigate a small drone around. The drone's camera feeds into your phone on the controller and you engage with the Pokemon by using the controller. Number 3 Flamethrower Drone In 2015, a Connecticut teenager strapped a handgun to a drone and fired the gun as the drone flew around. He wasn't shooting at anyone and no one was injured in the process. Number 4 Drone Racing Recently, 100 student drone pilots participated in the inaugural Liberty Cup, a Northeast qualifier for the US National Drone Racing Championship. The students are required to research and build their own drones, which supporters see as a natural and beneficial extension of the STEM curriculum taught in public schools. The student pilots wore first-person view goggles that let them experience the twists and turns of the racetrack as they operated their drones from remote controls. Number 5. Wildlife Conservation and Management Ranchers are increasingly relying on drones to help them find lost cattle, but they are also starting to use them to help bring the lost cattle home. Professor John Church, a specialist in cattle research at Thompson Rivers University in British Columbia, says he has used drones to herd cattle. Researchers with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration have started using drones to count the calves in dolphin and whale pods around the Hawaiian Islands without disturbing the animals. Drones present an immense opportunity for studying animals in their natural habitat in a non-invasive manner.